one thing that you need to do when you're hitting driver? The knee flex. Changing flex of the knees from P1 to P3. Okay. If you change flex more in the knees, what does that enable you to do with the arms? Lower. To keep them in more, yeah? So they angle in more at P3, which means they'll be less lifted at P4, which means the shaft is shallower at P5, yeah. which now means you don't need to drive the knees as much from P5 to P7 to shallow out the angle of attack and shift the swing direction to the right. That, that makes sense, yeah? So the change in flex of the knees from P1 to P3 is critical because that then it snowballs, doesn't it? P2, P3 yeah, is better, your P4 is better, your P5 is better, and so on and so forth. Now, when you're coming through the golf ball, there is that rolling aspect that has to be controlled. Yeah, you happy with that? Okay, so on this one, try and keep the arms nice and straight, keep the lead wrist flat. Okay. You'll see when you watch that back that the wrist didn't yeah. stay flat, okay? Whenever the lead wrist extends, the face opens to the path and the ball curves to the right. Like these. Now the reason you're hitting driver off the ground is because I want you to learn to time the extension, flexion and extension that you need in the swing. And also I want you to learn how to recover the shaft so that we don't get excessive shaft lead. The more shaft lean you have with the driver, the more side bend you need mm. to make better contact. Now, physically, that's very demanding as per the diagram we put up on the board for you. All right, so just bear that in mind.